Okay, here's uh, some programs that I like to go through um, in the NLP. And so, we always... Uh, the idea that one could go right round the universe and end up where one started makes good science fiction. Value of emotions. Much practical significance because it can be shown that the universe and will collapse to zero size before one could get round. Value of neurotransmitters. Faster than light in order to end up where you started before um, the universe Always do end. the phase and stabilization. The In the first kind of pre-born and expands and next we go to like the surface of the Earth. covert thought patterns. In the second kind of model, which expands forever, space is bent the other way. Covert like the thought patterns. So in this case, space is empty. Finally, in the third kind of Friedman model, with just the critical rate of expansion, and then we just click on and therefore is also number empty. one. But which Friedman model describes number two, universe? number Will three, the eventually number stop four, and start contracting, or will it expand forever? To answer this question, we need to know the present rate of expansion and we of the double universe click on the and its present average density. If the density is words, less than a certain critical value, and bring them down the to the bottom panel. The gravitational attraction will be too and then big click on the, the bottom panel. If the density is greater than the critical value, gravity will stop the expansion at some time in the future. And, and that's the what I usually do the there. We can and when you click on the bottom panel, panel it helps to balance. Which other galaxies are moving away from us. There. The and let's see. This can be done very accurately. However, the distances to the galaxies Go back are not to because we can only measure them indirectly. So all we know is that the universe is expanding by between 5 and 10 percent every thousand million years. However, our uncertainty about the present average density of the universe... So I always make a greater. report so that... If we add up the masses of all the stars that we can see in our galaxy... It can galaxy be uh, added galaxies, at the, the end is less than one with a super skew rectification. Of the expansion of the universe, even for the lowest estimate and of the so another place I like to go is... However, uh, higher, higher purpose record, alignment, which we know must be there uh, of ascension, sim stimulation, on the of stars and the stimulate galaxies. insight, stimulate However, creativity, are found in clusters, so open mind therapy, the of yet stimulate more intelligence. In the clusters, by its uh, for addiction, I do the disrupt the gallbladder connection. And it's actually good because the gallbladder connection is. Uh, also connected to stress reactions, so it helps to kind of change things there. So, yeah, the spinal is good too, and uh, you see we have uh, some degeneration going on in the it won't do so. Uh, L3. Million years since it and I just click on those to help balance them. By that time, and let's see. I always make a report. Died out, extinguished, along with our sun. And let's see. All we can go into digestion. Have the feature that at some time in the past, between and 20,000 20, million years ago, the distance between neighboring galaxies must have been zero. At that time, set to time for certain minutes and the curvature of space time would have been because mathematics cannot do the really balance infinite numbers this means that the general theory of relativity now of for space, pain there is a point in the universe where the theory itself we can done. go into inflammation stress reduction degeneration matter. in fact all out there is a science of stress reduction the space time is smooth and nearly flat so they break down and where the all kinds of, of goodies is here this means that even if there were events before the big bang and so we couldn't use them to determine what would happen bones we can go into down at the big bang again so balance inflammation we know only what has happened and since the big bang. work on the specific pain area. As as we are concerned, 
uh, in the fibrous tissues in the area. And here it's uh, showing some bones that are coming up pretty high. Uh, as far as resonating with possible stress. And we can go to any particular area of the body, right, left, lower. And so lip is always good. And so it's showing some lung, kidney, blood, anemia, gallbladder, stress, heart stress, an allergy to gluten, and uh, there's some stress with the bile and small intestines. It's suggesting bone meal. And so, what else? One of these predictions was that the number of galaxies or similar um, so we're objects still working on space should be the same wherever an emotional look in the universe issue in the here. late 1950s and early 60s a survey of sources of and radio so waves from space was going was to the eye by a group of astronomers led by Martin Ryle who had also worked with Bondi Golden Coil on showing a sclerotic coat the Cambridge group showed that most of these radio sources must lie outside our galaxy Indeed, many of them oh, it's a second cranial also, nerve. There were many more weak sources than strong. Some stress there, it looks like. The weak sources as being the more distant ones, and the stronger ones as being and, the uh, Then there appear to be less common sources per unit volume of space for the nearby sources. Internal rectus muscle. This could mean that we are at the center of a great region in the universe in which the sources are fewer than elsewhere. And so you can so set the... Time. It could mean that the were what I like to do on myself, if I notice stress, I'll just set that it that up for 20 minutes or so and just run it and you know, the steady state lay back More and relax the the for a while. By and, Wilson in also and so those are some of my other favorite programs, and I hope you enjoyed my little skio demo. And so now the sports program is actually one of the better programs. And uh, it works uh, pretty much encompassing major stress areas and is very effective and uh, doesn't take much time to do. So that's a pretty good one. It's coming up with um, inherited hormonal issue, filbert allergy. Haven't any filberts for a while. Oh, it's showing grass allergy, goldenrod allergy, uh, linked to hypothalamus. Uh, motion denial of frustration. Okay. So those are some of my favorite programs, and uh, this one here again is very effective, and I hope you use it. And so see you next time.